Welcome back to another TBN review. I'm Anthony from the Beta Network, and this is Should You Play Dolmen? Now, I'm normally not the biggest fan of the Souls-like genre, but Dolmen had me intrigued with its Lovecraftian horror meets Metroid style of approach. That tough as nails action RPG combat mixed with a slew of creepy sci-fi monsters and labyrinthian level design really gets the blood pumping. Well, when you're not dead on the floor, that is. Dolmen is pretty straightforward when it comes to the combat side of things, however. Choose a starting class that best aligns with your playstyle, craft some equipment with various damage-related effects, and then cycle through two or three basic light and heavy combo attacks to win. All in all, a bit lacking compared to other action RPGs. Even though the controls are fine, Dolma just needed that extra bit of panache to truly stand out, but it still feels fun to play regardless. On that note, one aspect I really enjoyed was how you can switch between your current MP and stamina to perform additional actions, which definitely comes in handy, especially if you get greedy with attacks like me and find yourself not being able to evade. It's a literal lifesaver. The bosses help on this front too. Not only are they varied and challenging, but they often encourage different playstyles or use of the environment. One fight has you trying to trap an aggressive sword fighter into these energy sapping orb things, while the next is best served with a no-nonsense gunfight. Clean and simple. Now of course, there are other ways to defeat these baddies too, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to admire the thought and effort put into each one. If you are finding these battles a little too difficult though, you can phone three friends to join in on the carnage. The multiplayer is only for bosses however, just so you're aware. When it comes to the presentation side of things, Dolman can't help but seem a little budget. It can be finicky as heck to move through menus, and some of the UI elements aren't the most readable or intuitive for a game released in 2022. Thankfully, the equipment and stat upgrades are relatively straightforward to manage, and there isn't too much going on in terms of menuing itself. Although, the level design and general aesthetic do scream Metroid to a T. Some enemies are placed in some cheeky, cheeky positions, and you will find yourself circling around like an extremely lost dog trying to find its owner. And while it certainly isn't the worst looking game out there, Dolman does contain some cool, sci-fi inspired locales for players to explore. The story is where the game falls short for me though. It just feels very trite. There's just a bunch of generic text logs and generic audio files to be found that don't offer much alongside more generic looking alien dudes who hand you items for speaking with them. At least that's one redeeming quality, right? What's the story about, you ask? I honestly can't even remember because I was that checked out. It's something something go investigate planet because something something giant corporation says so. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh. So, should you play Dolmen? Well, if you're a fan of Souls-likes and are looking for another fix after completing Elden Ring, then this title might be worth your time. Dolmen features a great range of boss fights that keep the challenge fresh, and a solid Metroidvania-inspired design helps maintain the intrigue and discovery. While it does have a few noticeable drawbacks with its story, presentation, and specific gameplay elements, Dolmen is a decent enough action RPG that aims to surprise at least once or twice. Guys, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, as we release videos like this each and every week. And be sure to check out thebetanetwork.net for my full written review on Dolmen.